So let me read you this comment that was posted by Coolio. And this is what gave birth to this live stream that we really haven't discussed too much about, right? But I'm going to read you that and I'm going to read you just some of the stuff that I posted here. I'll read the first part, just what I have written here saying, do this first, right? There's four points I have here. So this live stream, basically, we said it was about life planning and taking care, taking calculated risks, right? I added the personal finance, economics and more part of it, because that's what the question was really leading me anyway uh, towards thinking about right so this was the request recommendation for a live stream that coolio posted uh and quote hey chicho uh, so is it possible we could do a weekend stream on life planning and taking calculated risks i only ask because i've been contemplating moving for a while now I've lived in the same state all my life in the US and I am so ready for a change, but I really want to move out of country. So the less drastic, uh, on the less drastic end, I could move to Canada, which is close by my home state. On the drastic end, I'm thinking somewhere overseas in Europe, Asia, or South America. I'm just so mixed up and with, and want to do, uh, I'm so I'm so I'm just so mixed up with what to do and whether or not I should take the leap now while I'm young. So stream theme around life planning, calculated risk risks could help a lot of people with a lot of issues, I think. Okay. So I read that, I said and my reply was uh, done deal. All <laughs> right. We'll do it. Okay. And what I did is after we set the stream I a couple of days ago I went for a walk, a couple hour walk and listen to music, right? I was listening to uh, uh I went to listening to Philly uh, uh Philly hip hop right now, southern hip hop, which is very dark because I've never I can't believe I haven't delve into that world outside of South Park, Mexican and some other stuff. Uh, but it was, it was fantastic right i hope this stream turns out well so far so good coolio i feel like a student whose report is being read in front no coolio no we're just sharing information right my brother left the uk in 2011 with 300 pounds since then he lived in barcelona portland and now lives in kiev in ukraine nice in my opinion adventure is the spice of life indeed it could be anyway but here's here's four things that I wrote down initially that really well not initially I sort of went through filter I, I typed this out so I was taking notes while I was walking right pause note but trying to sort it on I sort of broke it into these two groups right so my first thing would be this right and I called this do this first okay so if you're thinking about moving here's four points you should consider right there's probably more than this these are four that i came to me okay one visiting being a tourist is very different than living in a place right over an extended period of time so keep that in mind some people go traveling as a tourist and they go this would be a great place to live and they don't know anything about that place other than their tourist interaction right so one keep that in mind two do not leave any debt that needs to be serviced behind, right? If you're moving somewhere, make sure you don't have to make monthly payments or any other type of payments wherever you're leaving from, okay? That can be extremely burdensome, okay? Number three, reduce your expenses, okay? Because moving anywhere is extremely expensive and no matter how well you've planned things out, things might not and probably will not work out the way you want them to work out so the funds might not be coming in so reduce your expenses extremely important right build up a little buffer number four there's a huge difference between living with friends or family until you get on your feet and having to find your own way have a backup plan okay 
or fallback plan. So keep that in mind. If you're moving someplace with friends and family until you know you're going for a job for two weeks until you get a job and for another couple of weeks two or three weeks until you find a place you got some money so you're going to spend a month a couple of months for friends and family until you get back on your feet totally different than going somewhere blind or not even blind even if you made plans having a place to stay having to pay rent not knowing anyone okay that's four things before we get into the rest of it the reason okay this is what I wrote down for the re I called it the reason because you have to ask yourself why do you want to move but my number one was this and we'll read this after I catch up with the chat but I'm just gonna read you number one because it builds up from the previous stuff number one before you continue did you do one to four above okay because maybe you really didn't want to move you just needed to take care of business or wanted to run away from something okay so once you take care of the four things that we talked about right really realizing that visiting somewhere if you're a tourist somewhere is different than living somewhere uh, not leaving any debt that you need to service okay reducing your expenses right and realizing you know if you're going to be moving you may not have backup right once you do that then you can start thinking about some of the logistics of it which we'll get to i'm just going to chat read some of the comments because there might have been some more better advice than what i have here posted right let me read you guys a little bit more these 12 things that i wrote down okay so consider the four points that we mentioned okay here's some more things that you may need to consider okay or you should think about now number one before you continue did you do one to four above because maybe you really didn't want to move you just needed to take care of business or wanted to run away from something right i've met people where they're having hard times in their lives there's a lot of pressure on them and stuff like this and their first reaction is to get out of town run away from their problems once people take care of the four things that we mentioned right realizing that visiting somewhere is different than moving some, somewhere that you need to make sure you take care of your debts nothing that you need to service that you should reduce your expenses right and that if you're moving somewhere are you going to be moving in with friends and family or are you going solo right so after you've considered all those number one is that think about those really in depth two so why do you want to move ask yourself really that this is very personal why do you want to move somewhere okay number three where do you want to move to okay extremely important and there's some points i wrote down here right think about the language that's being used there if it's not your language are you willing to learn their language right what about your rights do you have the same rights as you did from where you're coming from or do you have more rights or do you have give up a certain amount of rights right that's really important because if you were living a certain lifestyle you may have to stop doing some of the things you were doing because you don't have the right to do that right so know the laws of the country especially the stuff you care about right and when you're moving really consider this right and what we just mentioned language rights law and laws changes from state to state as well right in the united states especially but really appreciate that moving somewhere domestically is different than moving somewhere internationally right internationally implies a lot a lot more you got to take care of right number four is this a long-term move more than a year or a short-term move less than a year i just picked a year arbitrary right you could make it six months if you want so are you moving there long term do you plan on setting down roots there or are you just going there short term are you transient okay number five are you moving by yourself friends girlfriend family for business to retire for health right 
for school okay the health one is pretty important i know some people that have needed to move to different parts of the world because because healthcare expenses were too much in their own country so they're moving because of medical reasons right all of these mean you need to take care of certain things okay number six what are you taking with you okay number seven are you moving there in whole financially and physically or is this just a physical change of location with your savings with your net worth remaining in your country of origin right so if you're moving somewhere let's say long term but you have all your bank accounts in the other country if you have land in the other country if you have obligations that you're paying debt to in, in the other country right your country of origin you're not really moving there you're there temporarily until you take care of that business right and once you start setting up routes to wherever you have moved to you're gonna have to let go of some of those things so really think about that right are your finances coming with you okay on that note number eight think about the currency of the country you're moving to really really important okay are you moving up in i don't know i don't know what the right word to use this right are you moving up in lifestyle or down in lifestyle if you want to call it and lifestyle could be lifestyle is not the right word right it money money is not the right word right are you moving to a first world country second world third that's not a right move right thing the best best way you can think about this is wherever you're moving to are you going to be making enough money that if the need arises for you to be able to afford to move back to your original country right so if you're moving from a country where the average salary is fifty thousand dollars a year to a country or your salary is fifty thousand dollars a year to a country where the equivalent that they're paying you is ten thousand dollars a year if you convert it to the currency where you were making fifty thousand dollars if you live in that country for an extended period of time financially it's going to be difficult for you to move back to a country that has a higher expensive living standard right really consider that currencies are important okay and i have the note here can you afford to come back at a future date and what financial situation will you be in right and i have written down taxes here really important something that coolio brought up right taxes are ridiculously important figure out how that's going to play out if you're moving somewhere because of business right let's assume you're making fifty thousand dollars a year in your country of origin you move somewhere they're giving you seventy thousand dollars a year right you're like yay that's great a couple of things you have to look into first of all how expensive is is it to live there if you were paying rent for a thousand a thousand dollars a month making fifty thousand dollars right and now you're going to pay two thousand dollars a month making seventy thousand dollars you're not seventy thousand dollars not compensating you right if you're moving to a country where the tax rate is fifty percent and the country you're coming from the tax rate is thirty percent you're not getting a pay hike right there might be you know there might be health care benefits involved in there there might be other benefits there might be free education there might be a lot of other things so you have to take all that into consideration right really look into the finances some people make the wrong decision and this isn't just internationally this is locally as well right this has happened with people within a certain region even just british columbia right i've known people that sell a house in vancouver right and move into a suburb somewhere right to a smaller town that's away from vancouver right for like five years meanwhile in that five years the house prices have gone up mad in vancouver or any other city 
right and these people can't afford to move back because their house that they bought hasn't gone up as much even if it went up the same amount percent value wise it hasn't gone up the same so now they're out of the game right which is one thing about our current economic system people are scared to step out of the game because they think the train is going to leave the station without them right so they're really scared of not being in the market and i've seen that happen with developers right where they buy land to develop a house and then they say oh land prices are too high so they don't buy land for a few months and land prices continue to go up and now they have to buy at a higher value to build a house or or whatever they're building to be able to make revenue right to be able to make a living right so there are people who are afraid to leave the market right really think about the economics of it number nine is have you thought about the cost of living which is sort of me going off linking everything up everything's linked up here right number 10 the lifestyle changes right the same thing and i call this one first second third world industrial or technological or country right so are you moving to a place like we have high speed internet here right if i end up moving somewhere the first thing for me right like i know this because i do a lot of work online and this has been my um, my case for a number of years right i won't move anywhere where i can't get high speed internet right so that limits the number of places i could go to more than anyone that doesn't care about that they might care about other things that might limit them right so really think about what level of lifestyle you're willing to live right are you gonna have flushing toilets hot water whenever you want electricity anytime you want right grocery stores clean water like clean water is huge right huge 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 okay really think about those things okay number 11 i said commitments with this move are you making promises um you know for example i've known couples that move together right so if you move with someone else somewhere then you guys are bound together until at least one of you guys can get on your feet preferably both of you guys can get on your feet if you move somewhere right and all of a sudden you change your mind and then within a month saying oh i don't want to be here and you move there with a partner and your partner sacrificed a lot to move with you and they can't afford to live where they're living without you without your revenue coming in as well then you pretty much screwed over your partner so really think about the commitments uh the obligations you're getting into into doing that move right number 12 i just put it down at the last you know what's the job market there do you already have a job lined up are you going to be downgrading your job are you upgrading your job right think about jobs think about friends think about entertainment think about social activity think about the food right you move somewhere where you're used to eating organic food and you can't get organic food you're screwed moving somewhere where you're used to eating kentucky fried chicken or some crap like that and they don't have that stuff I don't recommend you eating it but if that's what you like then what are you gonna do right can you eat spicy food if you go to for example if you go to Korea they eat spicy food right I love Korean food right but it's spicy as mad right <laughs> can you handle that type of food right so you have to really think about those things and those are the you know points I came up with uh, it was a nice walk you know wrote down the stuff and i typed the stuff up uh, sort of sorted it and whatnot okay i'm just going to read some of the comments uh, just to see if there's any uh pretty sure there's probably some recommendations of comments that uh should be included in this list as well i'm just going to pop another apple with peanut butter <laughs> 